Hello students, I am Ms. Sophia Sheikh, your science teacher and today this is the revision session and we will be discussing your doubts. So today I will be discussing the topics that you might be feel have difficulty while learning or understanding and children if there are still some topics uncovered you can uh, tell me in the comment box that you didn't understood I will surely help you all okay. So let us start some of So children here is a chapter that we studied previously that is health and hygiene. Do you remember what all we studied? Yes, let us take a quick summary of the lesson that we studied. Children in the chapter health and hygiene, we studied about food. What is food? How much is it needed for our growth and development? What are the requirements that we every age group that differs according to the age, occupation, the type of work we do accordingly, our food requirement varies. Then we saw the food we eat should be is divided into many food groups, right? So, we saw the food and the food groups. We also saw what is a balanced diet. Balanced diet is a diet where all the nutrients are present in the proper proportion, adequate amount so that it will become a balanced diet, a proper healthy one that will help you be fit and fine. The next we also saw about exercise and rest. Children remember the workout that we did about the boogie song. Hope you all danced and will surely send me the video on the email id that is provided to you by the school. The next we saw was about diseases. After a quick workout, we also saw diseases. What is a disease? Disease is a state of mind where we are unhealthy. We are not able to do any work. Our body is sick. That is disease. Now these diseases, we studied the types of diseases too. There, there, there were two types of diseases called communicable and non-communicable diseases, right? We saw the examples and the prevention to and the precautions too that need to be taken for the prevention of these diseases. Children, we also just have a quick glance or the idea or the gist about what is today's scenario of the newly discovered virus. You all know its name, right? Coronavirus, right? That virus. So, this was the lesson that we studied earlier. Now, we will be seeing the same lesson and solving the worksheets. So, we saw the different food groups. Let me revert. Let me just revise it. The, bread, the groups are as follows. The bread cereal group, the vegetable group the, and the fruit group, milk group. The fourth one is the meat and beans group. The next we have fats and oils. So these are the five groups present, the, the food groups that are present. Then we saw what is a balanced diet. A balanced diet is a diet that contains all the nutrients in right proportion. So children, the vegetable and the food group Fruits group is at the least and we required it in the most amount. That's why it is at the base of the pyramid. Next is the grains and the cereals, the vegetables that we eat, the chapati, the bread and all that stuff will come on the second layer or third top layer of the pyramid. So, the second most layer is of milk group. The milk group includes cheese, paneer and etc. all the food stuff that you see. Meat and fish, all these products come under the milk and meat group are both the same we that's why these two groups are placed at the second level of the food pyramid and the topmost layer layer is of oils fats and sugars that are essential not the extra one not the ones that make you obese and make you prone to diseases not that one but the essential ones so this was the balanced diet we also saw the deficiency and the diseases related to it so here is a review, this revision, just a glance, the anemic the disease called anemia which is due to lack of hemoglobin in one's blood. Next was goiter caused due to deficiency of iodine. Then we had scurvy which causes your gums to bleed. Then we had rickets which is the in which the legs are very pale and thin and the bones are very soft and brittle. So this was the disease. So let us now solve the worksheet. Do the worksheet solving. Now children you have to tell me true or false. 
eating junk food is good for health yes children is it good for health eating junk food not the healthy one so yes false the statement is false we need healthy food to remain healthy the next is the next question proteins are the building blocks of our body proteins are obtained from which group if you remember vegetables and the fruit group right and these are these help in building the body yes so the statement is true proteins are the building blocks of our body the next question that we have is vitamins are needed in very small amount for the normal functioning of our body is it true vitamins are needed in very small amount for the normal functioning of our body yes children this is true we don't require vitamins in very large amount so this statement is true next we have the diseases that are spread from one person to another person are known as non communicable diseases yes children i repeat the question the diseases that are spread from one person to another person are known as non communicable diseases children if you remember we did this while we discussed the type of diseases the other type is communicable one yes the statement is false because this type of disease is a communicable disease when it spreads from one person to another we have some more questions like mosquito bite can spread diseases is it true children a mosquitoes bites can spread diseases yes or no yes the statement is true if a mosquito is a agent which spreads the diseases that we saw in how the communicable disease spreads that we saw earlier yeah so this statement was true next is malnutrition is an incurable disease what is incurable that is it cannot be cured and uh, the person dies if it he has it he or she has it no children that statement is false malnutrition is a disease where uh, what you say the food or due to it is unhealthy food the children don't get nutrients mostly the children suffer from this disease and they are malnutrition they are very thick they are the their skin is very dark maybe so it can be cured when the child is provided proper treatment and food so this is a curable disease and so the statement is false carbohydrate in the body is the statement true yes or no will the carbohydrates weaken the body right carbohydrates don't weaken our body uh, opposite they do the opposite work they help us to they are the energy giving nutrients and they help us to do work so the statement is false next is anemia is caused by weak and soft bones is anemia the disease of bones come on answer no yes the statement is false because anemia is the disease is the condition in which the blood lacks hemoglobin the blood factor that is hemoglobin so the person's body is pale yellow and the red, redness of the hands or the skin is not present yeah then children never want to tell me we should always keep straight and a bright posture to stay healthy yes we should so the statement is true eating eyes with cold water helps to helps the eyes to pro, uh, in proper condition yes if we wash it with cold water it will help us stay uh, fresh it will uh, make our mood fresh and eyes will be able to concentrate washing the hands before and after eating is a bad habit false is it a, is this is a good habit that you all should practice rickets is a non communicable disease is it true yes this is true why because rickets is caused due to deficiency of vitamins and minerals not the, it is not an viral disease that will spread that is communicable no dengue is spread by mosquito that is mos female mosquito aedes or the anopheles yes true this is the agent which spreads the now children match the following you have to tell which vitamin causes which deficiency disease so so you have to call match the column a with column b first disease is night blindness with the uh, this disease is caused by which deficiency of which vitamin yes 
The answer is E, vitamin A. Night blindness is caused by the deficiency of vitamin A. Next we have scurvy. Scurvy is caused by the deficiency of vitamin C. Correct. Rickets is caused by the deficiency of vitamin B1. Correct. And beriberi is caused by the deficiency of vitamin D. Then, then we have anemia which is uh, the deficiency disease of the mineral iron. Yes, correct. Very good. Let us move further to the next type of match the following. Similarly, you have, as you did previously, you have to match the pairs. What are nutrients? Come on, select the option from the second column and answer. One nutrients. So, the answer is here option C. Carbohydrates, proteins, Fats, vitamins and minerals are the nutrients. Next we have antibodies. What are antibodies? This we saw while discussing about disease. It is something that is produced by the body to fight germ, germs. Yes. So the correct option is, answer is option D. A substance produced up by the body cells to fight germs. Correct. What is a pandemic? I told you about epidemic is a is something a disease spread to a particular region. Yeah. Now we hear about the pandemic. Which pandemic is going on children? Because of which you, are, you all are at home. Everything is closed. We are in lockdown. Why? Of the COVID-19, right? The coronavirus is a pandemic disease. So what is it? It is a single a widespread of infection. Next is, right, you have to give me right one word for. You know, you have to tell me the one word for that statement. First is disease causing microorganisms that are visible only under the microscope. What are these called? These microorganisms I told you earlier children. Yes, they are called microscopes. Microbes, sorry. The answer is microbes. Next we have a condition when a person cannot see clearly in dim light or at night. Tell me, children, tell me. What is it called a condition when a person cannot see clearly in dim light or at night? Yes, children, that condition is called night blindness, which is, which is caused by the deficiency of vitamin A. Correct. Next, we have a diet that contains adequate amounts of different nutrients. Children, what type of diet it is? A diet that contains adequate amount of different nutrients. What type of diet it is? It is a balanced diet yes correct so this was we further move on to our next question that is mind busters children this is a personal response question and you have to tell me the question is what do you think that personally you have you have to answer in the question for this is eating or drinking too much of candies and soft drinks should be avoided why children your parents scold if you eat too much of soft drinks or candies is it bad if yes, write your answer. If no, then also you have to tell me the reason. Children, eating or drinking too much of candies and soft drinks should be avoided. Is that correct? Yes or no? You have to tell me the answer. And I did for maybe one minute or two minutes, pause the YouTube video and tell me the answer, okay? So, question. Observe the images to name the deficiency disease and also state the cause. Children, Remember this picture I have shown you earlier, this picture, this deficiency disease. Take your time to solve this disease, pause the video and whatever you remember, at least you, if you remember the name, you can write the name. And uh, if you don't remember the cause, I will be telling you the cause in just a minute. You have to pause this video, wait for 20 seconds and then we will move on further and I will tell you the answers. So you have to observe the images to name the deficiency disease and also state the cause. So the first image, children, let us, I'll now I will tell you the answers. The first image is of anemia. The two hands of shows the comparison between an anemic person, the yellow one, and the normal person. The next second picture is of rickets. The third one is goiter. And the fourth one is scurvy. Now I will show you the chart. Of deficiency that we discussed in previously and the deficiency disease by which it is caused observe this table for pause this video and just read out this I'll, I will also read out for you 
and then you will be able to fill in the that column. So the mineral iron causes a deficiency disease anemia, calcium causes stunted growth, rickets, excessive bleeding etc. Phosphorus we have weakness, sodium we have muscular cramps, potassium also maybe sometimes it can cause paralysis, iodine we have goiter and the as you can see. The next table that I will be showing you is this. That is vitamin A causes night blindness, vitamin B causes berry beren and vitamin D causes rickets while vitamin C causes scurvy and vitamin K causes excessive blood bleeding wounds. So you can with the help of these two charts you can fill in the previous column. Now you have to name the following. Children name two foods each from the following groups. So we have bread and cereal group you can write any of the food example as I have written uh, rice and wheat the vegetable group you can change the examples as according to if you want to write any other vegetable you can use any other fruit that you can use in the food group next is milk group and the meat group these things will you should mention okay so write down. Now you have to classify the following into Communicable disease and the non-communicable disease. Yes, communicable disease are the ones which can be spread from one person to another while non-communicable don't spread. So here we go. First one is common cold, malaria, jaundice, coronavirus, diarrhea, polio and chicken pox. The last one is fever. So tell me children, what is common cold? Is it a common communicable? non-communicable you can also write C and NC just for saving time okay so common cold is C communicable malaria is NC which is non-communicable jaundice is also NC non-communicable disease whereas coronavirus is a communicable and dangerous contagious disease diarrhea is NC non-communicable polio is also NC that is non-communicable Chicken pox is an also communicable disease if you if we are stay with the person that is suffering from that skin disease you may also get. So fever also it is sometimes it is both communicable and non-communicable depends upon the if it is influenza or some type of fever it, you will be affected if your immunity is strong you won't be affected. So it can be communicable either or non-communicable. Now children this was all about the first chapter. Now we also did another chapter that is safety and first aid. We what we saw in this chapter was accidents, safety rules we saw for swimming, driving automobiles, riding bicycles and uh, when dealing with fire what you should do. What you should do when you are caught in fire we all saw, we saw that we, you remember the steps what you have to follow. You have not used the lift on put don't use water while in the electrical fire all that stuff we also saw what was first aid first aid we saw for cuts and bruises pains and fractures also for animal bites so let us now solve the worksheets you have to list the things that should be present in the first aid box children any things that comes to your mind maybe four or five objects will also do the things that should be present in a first aid box so let me help you out so the answer is scissors, bandages, ointments, detol, antiseptics, cotton, at least eye dressings, triangular bandages, creep roll bandages, safety pins, disposable gloves, etc. The next is write the full form of the pass method. Do you remember while putting out fire, I explained it to you in the pass method. Write the full form of P A S S pass. Yes. So the full form of B while putting out fire that is while using fire extinguisher you remember yes the first P stands for pull the pin A stands for aim the nozzle S stands for squeeze the lever and the next S stands for sweep the nozzle now what will you do if your clothes catch fire children remember this picture the steps to be taken while if you caught in a fire yes you have to stop drop and roll this is the best method don't run in panic here and there and also if anyone is suffering you should suggest them not to run around but they should stop drop and roll now you have to give one word for now tell me the disease caused by animal bite or any by animal like monkey dogs cats etc the immediate 
treatment for done for yeah. while getting an injury while riding a bicycle what is worn for what is worn for safety uh, and also the next question while driving car what is put for safety next is instrument used to put off fire now the answers are here disease caused by animal bite is rabies the first immediate medical treatment is the first aid we wear helmet while riding a bicycle and while driving a car you should wear a seat belt and the instrument that is used to put off fire is the fire extinguisher so children this was about our revision session if you didn't understood or have any doubt regarding any question please do let me know in the comment box take care bye bye